guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karen Zima and this is Art and Soul Studios. I'm very excited about this project we are going to work on today. It's going to be another landscape. I love doing landscapes and I don't find them very hard to do. You learn a couple tips and tricks, you can create one of your own. So, this one is going to have these trees going up into this kind of a light sky with a mountain coming down in here. And then there's going to be this lovely path that goes into this mysterious woodsy area. And I love putting paths and I like painting paths because there, it does add mystery. Like, where is that going? You're just going to wonder where it's going. So, let's get started. If I can do it, you can do it. Stay tuned, I'll show you all my tips and tricks. Colors that I put out to start this with. We're going to start from the top and add this whitish sky, fix the mountain here, and make it kind of muted out. Well, anyway, the colors I put out are this like baby blue, a white and a black. This is a deep, brilliant blue. It's kind of like something that looks more like a admiral blue. There's a tan, kiwi green, medium purple, a red, and almost similar shades of green that I'm going to mix with the black and then that's how we're going to get our base in this area. So if you do not have these colors that's fine because you can improvise and anything close you know you can just kind of work with it. And then I get this liquid text varnish and uh, a matte gel that I'm going to mix with. So let us start this project and see how it goes. I'm going to start mixing kind of like a grayish white. So let's get some white here. Spray this. This nice sky color here. Just go ahead and put in your sky. white in the center where it's going to like fade out to more blue on the edges. And just keep working it in. And towards the mountain you know, as you bring your sky down, it gets lighter. So, let's make sure it's lighter down at the bottom. Let's get a little bluer. Maybe over here on this edge. Just 
Now that is a pretty decent looking sky. It's hazy looking. Now for the mountain, we're going to take the same blue that we have mixed here. I'm going to add a little of this purple in there. Maybe a little red. And got a nice lilac-y mountain color. I'll just go ahead and showing through. So I put a little down in here and this is going to be mixed with greens up here and darks. So I think what we're going to do now, I'm going to take a little bit of um, this light blue color. Just kind of dab it like like the trees. Like they're in the mist. They're, it could be a very misty day here. And the fun thing about painting is it's your world. You can manipulate it and put trees where you want, anything, you know, your vision of how you see it, you know. Just make an interpretation of what I'm showing you and you know, don't follow exact, but try and create your own. And it does look uh, kind of misty and start working over in this section here. Now what I got to do is make a very dark green tone. So let's mix up this kind of holly looking green, Christmas green, something like that. And then let's go and put some black in it. I really like using a uh, patello green but I am totally out of it so I'm going to improvise myself. Let's put a little red in there. Get that nice dark green tone that we're going to be drawing in here. And then we're going to bring out uh, lighter, lighter tones as we go. Where the sun is going to be hitting certain spots. But over here is going to be the darkest part. Just be very loosely and fun. Have fun with it. There's no use painting if you're not having fun. We're going to go all the way up to the top. And then we're going to put in some foliage. And then later on we're going to bring out some where the sun is shining. And then I think we'll put the path in maybe last. So um, the colors I put out for making these trees. There is this... Um, Beige color we'll start with. Black. 
get a nice brown tone there. And then we're going to put some red in it. Maybe a little more red. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go with this brilliant blue. Making our own brown. Okay, it's a nice lovely brown color. These are going to be our main ones, kind of in the front. So some of the others, we're going to add a little of this light blue to the color and make it lighter because they're going to be in the distance. So we're going to have a couple in the distance. So right about here. Go up. Come back down. All right. What I want to do is add some little twiggy, twiggy branches like coming off. So we're going to take a very light, you know, color over here and just start putting in. And this brush is uh, what you want to use. It's a long brush. It's good for getting in little tiny branches like this. Kind of make 
make them lighter than the thicker, thicker stuff, the thicker chunks. We're going to make them lighter because they're in the distance and they're thinner. looking color which we are just gonna put it in. some leftover colors that I already put out that we might mix in. So let's go ahead and take a fan brush. I got two sizes here. I got a small one and a larger one. We're going to start with the larger one and we're going to take the palm leaf color and we're just going to kind of bring out Bring out some plant life. highlights, the greens, along the path to make it more, give it more depth. So I'm going to take this kiwi green, and a little water to it, let's see.
back and take a look. I am happy with it. I hope you're happy with yours. I hope you followed along until the end. And if you did and you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And there is a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you hit that also, it will notify you every time I release a new video. So that'll help. And uh, just keep on practicing, that's all. Until next time. Bye-bye.